But it took courage to do and to begin at Arizona State University what, what Alex started uh, in conjunction with Brad. Let me tell you a little bit about his business. Both sides of his organization are 100% his enroller tree. He started at zero with nothing on the left and nothing on the right. He today, well, this is approximately um, 14 months, 15 months later, he has 1,011 active auto ships on the left, 1,853 active auto ships on the right. He texted me on the way here and told me last week he had two days where they added 172 new auto deliveries in two days. In two days. Um, he's earned his highest month at the ripe old age of 22. Uh, he has earned $11,460 in the last four weeks from his uh, Verve and Vima business. And after this month, uh, he, will, he already enrolls one presidential. You'll hear from him today, star presidential. Uh, after this month, he'll have one personally enrolled presidential on each side of his business. It's absolutely phenomenal. He, um, he's an awesome young man, and you're going to have the opportunity now to, uh, to hear his story as well as to hear some of the, the, the tips, the secrets, the things, more importantly, the things that they're doing as a group uh, to create those kinds of numbers. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together and welcome Star Presidential, Alex Morton. Well, good morning, North Carolina. Well, hey, you know, I'm excited, obviously. Um, I'm always excited, but guys, you know, the young people in here, you know, when I first started, a lot of people, you know, young people don't have the time, young people don't have the money, they're not going to latch on, they're going to fall out just as quick as they came in. You know, I, I think we're here to stay. Um, you know, there's a lot of young people in here making a lot of money. There's a lot of, you know, elites now, almost elites. You know, Javonna Stewart, you know, is going to be, you know, I think the first young female going elite this month. Uh, it's crazy. Um, but really quick, you know, um, you know, I'm 22. I'm not the smartest guy in the world, you guys. Most of you heard my story. And, you know, I was at ASU. My priorities were all messed up, partying six nights a week. I had no idea what I was doing. Grades were bad. I got kicked out of the dorms, kicked out of the business school, got my real estate license at 18, wanted to make money. Um, and God sent me, you know, a blessing about a year ago. Facebook message. And, you know, at first, very skeptical, too good to be true, scam, called it a pyramid scheme, didn't want anything to do with it. Uh, and then it took, obviously, you know, Brad connecting with me because we're around the same age, and, you know, I, he walked in with the watch, and I saw the lifestyle, and what he was doing, <laughs> and I was like, you know what, if you're making that much money, if you can do it, I can definitely do this thing, too, so, uh, and I'm allowed to say that, because he's one of my best friends, but, you know, we got excited, man, and we didn't know what we were doing at first, because this was the first time it really happened with this young market deal, but, you know, I invited 50 friends over, 25 told me they'd show up, only 10 came, 6 told me no, 4 said yes, we've turned 4 into almost 3,000 now. Um, in the last really year, you know, working it hard for about 10 months, um, and like Tom said, yeah, you know, 12 grand a month, that's great, that's wonderful, but you know what, the guy that I'm following, the guy that this YPR thing is following, you know where he wants to go? A million a month, okay, because that, this is nothing yet, this hasn't even started yet, I mean, you see how excited BK is up here, I mean, this room, you know, imagine convention, at convention, there's going to be 5,000 young people at convention. I mean, it's absolutely, you know, incredible. So, you know, people always want to know what we're doing, how do you do it. I get Facebook messages, you know, all that kind of stuff. This is what we're doing. I mean, just like Tom's roadmap, man, we take, you know, one, three, and eight. What do you want? What are your dreams? What are your goals? Put them on paper, go to Google Images, print off that car, stick it on the wall, and stare at it every single day. And eventually what's going to happen is you're going to get the car every single time. You know, I've learned so much from Bob Proctor, obviously, and he's all about the mindset. You know, raise your hand in here if you know for 100% fact that you will be a success story in this company right now. And that's half the battle right there. If you know you're going to do it, you're going to do it no matter what happens, no matter your mom tells you it's a pyramid, your dad says those things don't work. It doesn't matter because guess what? Like Bob told us last night, 3% of America owns 97% of all the money. 
So most people, most of our moms, dads, teachers, professors, and friends have no idea how to make money. That's why I choose to listen to a 26-year-old making $85,000 a month. That's why Tom Alcaz is my biggest mentor because he earns more money in a week than most Americans do in a year. Um, and, and that's who we're following, man. So, you know, when you get in the business, obviously make a big list. Don't prejudge anybody because you never know who's going to take this thing seriously. You know, and then invite the right way. Obviously, invite the right way and get them to show up. And then you just got to take action. You have to literally, you know, our team we talk about, you have to literally light yourself on fire and go out there and make it happen. You have to make a decision. You know, people go, what's it take? Whatever it takes. That's what it takes. That, that's it. Period. End of story. Because we have like a three to five year window here before this Verve can is on every single high school and college campus in the nation. And there's going to be people in this room under 25 earning a million dollars a year. And we have to make... We have to make the decision right now to make this a priority in our business. You know, that was the big thing with me and Brad. He's like, dude, you got to quit the party and quit the drinking and put this at the top of your priority list, man. You know, put the beer down, put, put, you know, stop doing that stuff and really make this a priority and look what happened. You know, I, I hit the diamond level and he's like, you know, you can really take this a whole nother, a whole nother level up if you just make this a bigger priority. And then I did and then it happened. But it's not just me. That's the coolest part about it. It's not just Luke Wilborn and Josh Noble and Jed and Alex Morton and Brad Alcazin. There's so many young people in here making money now. It's unbelievable. And it's crazy because what I did, that was considered fast. People were making me look way slow. You know, Luke Kish, not even my group, I think he, awesome guy, get to know Luke Kish 100%. He's going executive, building left and right, 100% roller tree in four months. That took me 10 months, guys. And that's how we know we're getting better, because they're making me look slow, they're making Brad look slow. So, you know, a couple little things I wanted to touch on. You know, this business is your responsibility, 100%. It's not your up line, it's not your down line, it's definitely not your cross line. It's absolutely your, your responsibility. You know, if, if, you know, if something's going wrong with your business, just like Tom says, it's your fault, okay? And if you sign someone up, guess what? It's your, it is your responsibility to make them what? To make them wealthy, guys. If you bring someone on board and they quit, it's not their fault, it's your fault because you have to help them. You don't sign someone up to sign someone up. People act like they scored a touchdown when they got a first down. No, you sign someone up, you better teach them exactly what to do so they don't go out and fall on their face and you help them make money. You know, paid and promoted right away. And if you do that, it instills confidence and instills their story. Double frenzy bonus is going absolutely nuts right now. And then they're on their way. And we figured out that once you get a kid to Diamond, they're on their way. You get a kid making 1500 a month, driving a 50000 freaking you know, BMW car, no one's going to tell them no. Hey, check out the car, man. Like, give me a freaking break. So, I don't know. One thing, if, I know there's a lot of newer people in here. Um, I know Jed's group's had a lot of newer guys, and you guys are awesome. A lot of you girls are you know, really, really far in this business. When you first get involved, okay, you don't show up to home events because your upline says, show up tonight at 7 o'clock. You show up to home events. I showed up to home events to extract every bit of knowledge from his brain, okay? I recorded it. I studied it. I looked at it. I would say it in my sleep. And then eventually you start saying that if you say what people say and do what they do, you get what they have every single time. So don't deviate from the system. Just follow someone that already did it. There's people in this room doing it. Just follow what they're doing. Don't recreate, don't recreate the wheel. All you have to do is just do what they're doing, and you're going to get what they have, you know, every single time. You know, they call it the R&D department in school. You know, they tell you cheating, you know, cheating's bad, you know, get in trouble. I used to get in trouble for cheating, you know, in Spanish in seventh grade. In network marketing, in, <laughs> in Vima, it's called getting rich. R&D, you know, rip off and duplicate. <laughs> you know, and, I, and I'm dead serious. You know, why do we think we all sound the same? Because we're all saying the same thing. Because Josh Noble, he went from platinum to star platinum, okay, to executive, to star executive, then he skipped presidential, hit star presidential all consecutively. That's never happened before. But you know what? When he first got in the business, he didn't know what he was doing. And when I got in the business, I didn't know what I was doing. But he helped me, so I helped him. I mean, you see the statistics. 53.6% of my graduating class last year with a bachelor's degree is unemployed. All my friends who don't do Vima with me, most of them are smarter than I am. And they're working at banks for $30,000 a year. Hey, show up at 9 a.m. if you're late, you're fired. Eat lunch at noon. Go home at 5, do it Monday through Friday. We're going to pay you as little as possible so you don't quit. And if we don't like you anymore, guess, what, guess what's going to happen? We're going to fire and replace you. That's what a job is. You should have heard Bob Proctor last night talk about jobs. J-O-B, journey of the broke. <laughs> Guys, do you think the 3% of this country that make all the money have, do you think have, have a job? 
No, they own their own business, you know. Jay-Z was on Oprah. Jay-Z said you can be rich working for somebody else, but you'll never be wealthy unless you own your own business. I know lots of rich people. A lot of my friends' parents are rich. They have a lot of money. They have nice cars. They have nice, they have nice houses. They have no time. What's the point of having all that money if you have no time to what? You have no time to spend it. I mean, being wealthy is waking up when you're done sleeping. Being, <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't think Tom Mulcazin has an alarm clock. Okay. You know, being wealthy is waking up when you're done sleeping. You can have six Saturdays and one Sunday. Our team that we joke about, why should the day of the week even matter to you? Sun goes up, it goes down, we get paid to sleep. Raise your hand in here if you made money last night when you went to bed. Thank you, guys. At a job, clock in, clock out, clock in, clock out, clock in, clock out. You know, society tells me, society tells Carly Frank and Andrew Bayer and all the young people in here, society tells us to go to school, get good grades, go to college, get good grades, can't afford school, take out student loans, okay? You'll make it back. No, you won't, okay? And then make a resume and go get a job. Just go work for somebody else. That's all I've ever been taught in school at 17 years old. I got an aptitude test. Alex, you fill in the bubble so we can figure out where you can go work for someone for the next 60 years of your life. That's what they're telling us. It's like poison. And I'm not here to bash education. I believe in college. I have a degree. It's on my mom's wall. She paid for it. I didn't. <laughs> but, but it's absolutely physically impossible for a teacher and a professor making thirty to $60,000 a year to teach me or any of you in here how to make a lot of money. You want to get good at basketball, you're going to study Michael Jordan. You want to get good at soccer, you're going to study David Beckham. And if you want to learn how to be an absolute millionaire before, I don't know, 27, study someone doing it. A professor can't teach that. If a professor was that good at ASU, Cornell, Harvard, or U of A, or Texas Tech, or UNC, teaching you finance, real estate, accounting, and marketing, they'd probably be in the real world like Donald Trump making millions of dollars, not teaching us about it, guys. So just follow what's going on. I know I don't even have a time thing up here, but um, bottom line is if you're new in here, this is the greatest opportunity of your life. If you're young in here, this is an opportunity of an entire generation. Raise your hand in here if you don't have Facebook right now, if you don't have Facebook. Exactly, guy. And if you don't have it, man, you better get that thing, dude. <laughs> you know, Mark Zuckerberg, one kid, one computer program, one dorm room. I read, I read his little book. Most of his friends told him it wasn't even going to work. Mark, none of that's going to work, dude. No one's going to sign up for Facebook. That's dumb. Well, he's in Aruba right now on a beach making billions, okay? And everybody in here has Facebook. That one kid changed the, the way we talk to people and communicate with people on the Internet. And what Verve has done, thanks to, you know, people like Brad Alcaz and thanks to people like, you know, Andrew Bear and Javonna Stewart, everyone in here, you guys, what this is doing, and BK loves it, it's completely changing the mindset of young people. Completely. It's saying, be your own boss. And we honestly believe, you should hear our conversations. We think this has a chance to literally change America and the entire world on how young people think, because it's already happening. You know? You know, five, five to ten years from right now, there's, you know, the movie Social Network, there'll be a movie made about this. There'll be actors in Hollywood playing BK, playing people in this room, guys. Guaranteed. So... So with that, you know, in closing thoughts, um, A, you can make this happen, 100%. Like Tom says, people in this company, the people in this front two rows, there are average people with above average goals and dreams. That's it, because we've been raised to believe to be average and mediocre, be average and mediocre, be average and mediocre. Well, thankfully, you know, people like Bob Proctor say, instead of being average, why don't you try to be great? Why don't you try to leave a legacy? BK Breko is trying to, he's leaving a legacy, guys. I hit presidential. He calls me. He's at Yogurtology with his kid. Hey, talk to your future CEOs. My son, Colton, he's six. You know, that's where this thing is going. So, you know, with that, you know, I'm going to kick it back to Tom Malkazin. But, guys, honestly, you have to understand, and I, I think I'm now finally starting to grasp what's going on here. Like Brad said yesterday, over 4,000 colleges, 12,000 kids per school, 50 million college kids. And guess what? We have a farm system for the YPR. Every year, 16,000 freshmen go to ASU, U of A, Texas Tech, Baylor, UNC. It never stops. And people go, well, I ran out of people to talk to. I'm like, are you out of your mind, dude? <laughs> go join a softball team. I don't know. But um, so with that, I appreciate it. You guys are really like one big family. I know 